Where is the most inspirational meal in Western New York? In this episode of Behind the Plate, What the Heck is Wet? Carrie Rizzuto interviews Charlie the Butcher and the story behind what it took to become a well-known butcher in Western New York and how the iconic beef on Weck was created. My name is Shania Clark, and you're listening to What the Heck is Weck on Behind the Plate. How would you describe Charlie the Butcher? Like, what is it? <laughs> it's called an evolving business. In the late 70s, there started to be a trend of supermarkets that would surround themselves in the outer rings of the city, mm -hmm. would change the way people shop. They didn't come into the city to shop anymore. So I'm standing there with a whole butcher case full of meat, and I didn't have any customers. I'm going, wow, I learned something. I got to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. So my name was Charlie. I was a butcher. I says, I'm going to put my name on my helmet and my apron, and I'm going to become Charlie the Butcher. We always developed the heritage of a sandwich in Buffalo that was started in the late 1880s called Beef on Wack, and invented by a, a German immigrant that had a tavern down on Lake Erie. He said, I'm going to take roast beef, and I'm going to put it on a Kaiser roll and top it with caraway and pretzel salt and dip the top of the roll in my jus and serve it with a fresh horseradish. And I'm gonna call this sandwich roast beef on Kimowak. And that was invented back in the late 1880s in Buffalo, New York. At that point, I started to cook top rounds and develop this sandwich that was unique to Buffalo. And that's kind of how Charlie the Butcher transitioned through the 80s. But everywhere along the way, we transitioned to say, this is a signature sandwich and this is how we want to do it. So Charlie the Butcher's is known for beef on work. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. And I told my father, I had, a, I want to buy this oven. It's called a cook and hold oven. And it's, it's expensive, but I can do this top round and tenderize it overnight in the oven. My father was German. He thought I was crazy. <laughs> and he said, back then, he says, you're going to spend $2,000 to cook a piece of meat overnight? He goes, I don't, that's crazy. Now. The one thing I learned in business from my father is he thought it was crazy. He never told me not to do it. And it's pretty much the same thing we do every day, this some 35 years later. My mission statement for the company is I want to serve good quality food at a reasonable price with excellent customer service. I measure success by what my customer says about my product. And if they say, Charlie, that was a great sandwich, then that catches me right here. That's my success. That makes me feel good here. You can listen and subscribe to this episode at Behind the Plate on Spotify and YouTube.